All right, now I have a MacBook Air here with a backlight problem. First time I've ever worked on one of these stupid things. Uh, just my luck. Uh, somebody looks looks like somebody already got in here and uh, muck with a backlight filter already and literally just jumped it. They didn't even put another fuse back. So anyways, uh, I need to troubleshoot now because now if it blew again, then maybe there's something really wrong with it aside from the backlight filter. Um, echo, turn on fume. Look at this shit. Come on, man. Why would somebody do that? Should charge him extra for a prior repair attempt. Anyway, if they did not do this right, um, I shouldn't be doing that, really. Um, Okay, so that, I don't know if that's good or bad. You know what, let me test it with my multimeter. So, looks like the, the lull was just a holiday, um, a Thanksgiving thing. I mean, business has picked right back up here. And uh, I, I, I had actually lowered my, all right, so this, so this doesn't beep right here. So this, this filter is, is done. So anyways, I'm going to try to put another one back, and uh, hopefully that will fix the problem. Uh, if not, then we shall see what happens, okay? Let me clean up some of this flux here, um, this solder, I mean. But anyways, yeah, so business is booming again. I'm sure it is for everyone else as well. I had lowered my touch IC repairs to 125, but that just went back up yesterday. So, um, and my turnaround time is decreased to, increased, I mean, to, um, three to seven days now. So, uh, anyways, I hope this is just the problem. I don't know. Never worked on one of these things, so I have no clue. But let me go pause this and go get myself up my filter from DigiKey. All right, hold on. All right, hold on a second. Does it look a little blurry to you guys? Let me see if I can fix the blurriness. Alright, that looks better. Should probably just disconnect these HDMI stuff. Now it's blurry again. Dang it. Alright, hold on a second. So, okay. Alright. Anyways, uh, DigiKey sells these, I think it's like 10, 10 of these filters for 3 bucks. Cheap. And it's a 32 amp, um, 32 amp, three, hold up, sorry, 32 volt, three amp. Is that right? Yeah, 32 amps too much. 32 volt, three amp, 0603 package. All right. So let's do it and let's see what happens. I hope this works. I mean, somebody's kind of already done the work for me. I mean, I imagine whoever did it, sent it to me, probably tried it. You know, I, I don't have high hopes for this working, but maybe. Yeah, I really don't. I'm not really not set up for this. I just don't have enough room for for MacBook stuff on my bench here. So. 
So I don't really take them on. I just I need a bigger bench, uh, workbench in order to do this really, and I I just can't. But uh, these guys they I do a lot of business with them, so I decided to take it on. Okay, so let's see. Is it clean? It's not 100% seated correctly, but you know what? I think when they jumped it, when they jumped it. They jumped it to this one for some reason. So let me let me see if that's even supposed to be connected. Maybe that's probably why it wasn't working. Let's see, is this supposed to be connected like this? Okay, it is. So I guess it doesn't really matter. So I think this is, let's see, what is this? That looks like a filter. Could be a resistor, actually. All right, let's see if this works. I'm going to power this puppy up, and uh, we'll see if it works. All right, pause it. All right, so replacing the filter did not work. Uh, I imagine it didn't work because somebody had already pretty much jumped it, you know, and everything looks pretty clean here. Um, everything looks pretty clean, and I actually measured some voltages here, and... Um, so it looks like that dot right there is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, these six pins right here are part of the, uh, I mean, this component right here is part of the backlight system. These were all 7 volts, and this one was about 2, two some two three volts. And this was the enable line. Alright, and I was getting 7 here and 7 here. Okay, so uh, everything also looks pretty clean. So uh, anyways, so... I didn't suspect any of the, any problem here. This is the backlight diode here, and uh, you know these pins right here, they all look clean as well. I don't really know a whole lot about these damn things, but um, you know you kind of just go through the schematics and kind of just work backwards, you know. And uh, usually it starts from the filter, you know. So, so I knew it wasn't going to be easy repair. <laughs> so anyway, so I disassembled the logic board and took it out of its case. Um, which wasn't too hard actually. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit more complicated, but so it looks like there's a backlight IC on the other side of the logic board. Okay, so I, let's see if I can zoom. Well, anyways, you flip it over. It's on the exact opposite side. That's why I have to had to disassemble the logic board. So backlight filter is here. Flip it over, same side, and this right here is known as the LP5. Was it LP55 5880? I think. I think that's what it is. So this is considered. This is the equivalent of uh, the backlight IC for the iPhone. You know, uh, U1502. Um, it's a 24-pin chip, I believe. Maybe it's. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many pins it is. Whatever. Just go to DigiKey and uh, do a search for LP. 5880. I think that's the number. And they're about 250 a pop. So, what I did was when I flipped it over and looked at it, immediately you can kind of see that right there. And I think that is pretty much. I mean, there looks like it's corroded. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but that does not look good. It's like black shit here. And uh, that pin right there is jacked up. Okay, so. I've already placed an order for the backlight ICs. Um, I just bought five of these things because I don't anticipate fixing many, very many of these things. Um, not only that, but DigiKey ships pretty fast, uh, so I can, you know, if I needed them, I can order them and get them shipped to me pretty quickly. Okay, so I imagine once I replace this, then the backlight will work. But I will update, and I will update. Well. I'll get back to this video after I get the ICs, which will probably be uh, probably Monday, maybe Saturday. Highly doubtful since today's Thursday, so probably looking at another whatever few four or five days before I can get this thing done. All right. All right. So I got my chip here from DigiKey. Took about three or four days, three days maybe. Busted out. I think it was about uh, 250 a pop or something like that. 
Got five of them. And I am going to install it now. So let's make sure we have the right orientation before we uh, take the other one off. Okay. And I'm hoping this works. I, I think it. I think it'll work because I can kind of see the oxidation or the problem below the chip. But maybe something else shorten it out. So. Alright, so here's my new chip. Uh, it's pretty much looks the same. So we will go from we will go that way. So let's heat this puppy up and uh, echo. Turn irons on. Echo. Turn irons on. Echo. Echo. Turn fume on. All right, I'm just gonna chuck this one, and let's clean it up with some flux and uh, some. You can tell it's got like it looks like it's gunk. You see it? It's got like some. I don't know if it's oxidation or what's under there, but it doesn't look normal. I really want to tint it a little bit, so let's just do let's just do it right. Clean this up, and then let's uh let's just tint it a little bit. All right, make sure we get a nice little solid bond on it, so that we don't have to do it again. I'm not really sure why it's not tinning. All right, let's uh, let's do it the real way, I guess. Okay. Uh, did I just jack something up? I did. Yeah. So that's the problem. Okay. We go. Let's see if we can. I think we'll just use heat to get that button back on right there. All right. Alright, one more time. Might be a little too much IPA there. No big deal. Alright. Some clean flux.
Alright, same deal, just make sure it's hot and then make sure it kind of gets stuck. And you can essentially just heat it and let it seed itself. Get some more flux if you want. Just make sure you get a nice little bond on it. So this is going to be lead free solder so you definitely want to okay, so you can kind of wiggle it a little bit and you see it kind of bonding. That may be a little too much but anyways. Alright that's it. And then you can also kind of look on the bottom of it. Make sure it's got a nice little bond. It does. Alright. It's good enough. Let's clean it one more time with some uh, IPA. And then we're going to reassemble and test. Alright, so let me pause this and then we will test it. So I just tested it and it worked. You'll have to trust me on it. I don't have a video because it is boxed up already. Alright, thanks.